Morning, my lovely, wonderful people. 2023, Tinubu shouldn't be running at all. Those pushing him don't love him. See who is saying. Our brother has said Tinubu has lived his life, you know, and has done well for himself. Okay? And has done well for himself. You know, and everything. So it is important that we understand that, you know, when he led Lagos State, he was much younger. We're talking about 20-something years ago. You know, if he's 70 now, so he was 50 then, which is a good age. Better judgment, stronger, and what have you, and everything, and this is what is happening. He said Tinubu should actually be supporting Shei Tinubu, you know, and he feel that he should not be doing this. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Tinubu shouldn't be running at all for president. He should be supporting his son, supporting others, and making sure that he gives good guidance and direction in order to help Nigeria if he says he really loves the country like he said he does. There are so many good people who are loyal to him. Even the vice president, running against the vice president was not a good idea. Cranning it up with Emilio Kong, I don't think he made a good choice. Do you want to tell me that Tinubu was 50 years old when he became the governor of Lagos State? A food for thought, Aregwala Osola has told Nigerians. So let's get all the details. Ahead of the 2023 presidential election, Emmanuel of the All Nigerian People's Party, ANPP, governorship candidate in Edo State, between 2007 and 2016, in an interview, said the former governor of Lagos State and the presidential candidate of the APC of the All Progressive Congress, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobo, shouldn't have been contesting, adding that those who pushed him doesn't love him. No, he also lamented that Tinobu shouldn't be aspiring to lead the country, which when he said he led 20 years ago as a state governor, he did well. But at this point in time, he should be doing right by the people, being honest and sincere rather than being that himself. The former candidate made his statement while responding to a question asked by, asked by the Sun newspaper. He said, among the 18 presidential candidates, who will you be going for on the polls? Three of them who are on the top of the list, Abola Ahmed Tinubu, Alaji Atikwa Bubaka, and Peter Obi. Of these three top presidential candidates, who would you be going for? In his words, he said, as it stands at the moment, Bola Ahmed Tinubu's name should not be on that list. It should rather be his son, Shei Tinubu, or his daughter, or any of the other people he supports to ensure that none of them make a mistake and serve Nigeria well. It is a shame for him to say he wants to be Nigerian's president and even goes on to use a Kong. I feel that was rather brash. Tinubu, if he said he was 50 years old when he led Nigeria at that point in time, he should know better now that things like this will not be allowed to continue. It is important we all observe things properly and do the right thing for this country. Every time we take, we turn a blind eye to what we should really be paying attention to, we do not do well. Every time we turn a blind eye, we do not do well. So the truth and the most important thing is that Tinubu knows what is right. Yes, he knows what is right. He knows, you know, what he should be doing now. So for him to neglect the importance, the office of what, he, you know, standing for the people and with the people and rather focusing on myself, there is nobody who is selfish that totally and truly, you know, achieves so much. Yes, it will look like to a large extent there is only so much selfishness can help you acquire. At some point, the selfish ideas needs to burn out and, needs to, and it needs to become, you know, beyond me. When, it has, when anything has grown beyond you, that is when you are truly making a headway. When anything has grown beyond you. Okay? So this is what we need to do. 
Okay, it, this is what we need to do. And this is why we need to pay attention together. This is why we need to pay attention together. Okay, it is a clear indication that Nigerians, we are that junction, we are that place where we need to, you know, we need to ensure that we do right by us. Remember that every decision you make is adding up and everybody can see it. Every time we make a decision, it either speaks for or against. It either makes or ma. Okay? So this is what is happening. And why nobody should, you know, take it upon themselves and do that which is not necessary and think that Nigeria, you know, it's, it's their own, you know, their own uh, personal matter where they can, you know, pick and choose, do things as they please and get away with it. Nigeria must become first and foremost, you know, our Nigeria must become first and foremost, okay, uh, an important aspect that we all must work at and ensure, okay, that we do everything needed and necessary to bring this country right back on track and bring this country into a place where we can truly be proud of it, okay? It is important. It is that important. So what do we do and how do we begin to apply those huge changes? It starts from the mind. We must have a right mindset. If you want something to work, you know, the, the condition of your heart determines how you act. Even if you are pretending to act in a certain way, you can only do it for so long. After a while, you, 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 your, your true intentions will, will give you in. The true intentions, your true heart intentions will betray you. The very true heart intentions will betray you. So it is what it is. And if you ask me, it is the dawn of a new day. It is the time where we all together must ensure we do not allow the same thing over and over and over again. Let's bring our nation out of the hands of those small few who have been taking this country into their, take, they've taken it as their personal property. And um, in fact, if they have taken it as their personal property and they are doing right by the people, that would be a good thing. But not when, in result of how the people feel, you don't really care. And um, you, 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 you don't listen to anybody. You know that you cannot do anything without, you know, getting the input of the people. If you say you are serving the people, then you should do right by the people. Yes, you should do right by the people. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. Let's speak out and let's do that which is necessary to move this country forward. Bye for now.